Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you this easy look. And the first thing I'm doing is applying some white eyeshadow underneath my eyebrow. And I always try to apply this like underneath the highest point of my eyebrow. And the shade that I'm using is called White Lies by Makeup Geek. It's just a simple matte white shade. And now for my next shade, I'm going in with the ColourPop Outer Look eyeshadow. And this is a super light shade, it has a sort of peachy pink undertone. I'm just going to blend this all over in my crease as my transition shade. And this will help to blend out other eyeshadows later on that I'm also going to apply. So now I'm going in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Burnt Orange Eyeshadow, which is a matte shade. It's like a brown orangey color, super pretty. It is kind of dark, I didn't expect it to be as dark as it looks in my crease. So if I would redo this eye makeup look, I think I would go in with a tiny lighter shade than this one. But yeah, it worked fine, but most of the time I prefer to not go in with a dark shade immediately. But yeah, it turned out great, so I won't complain. <laughs> So now I'm going in with Blazing Eyeshadow, also by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is such a gorgeous shade. I'm not even sure if I have ever used this shade, but I don't really... the name doesn't sound familiar to me. But it's super pretty, it's like a reddish brown shade. Well, it's not really even very brown or something, it's just a very unique shade and I think it's super pretty, especially for fall to blend in your crease or for all over the eyelid. It will really make your blue eyes pop out or your green eyes and I think it will also look super nice for brown eyes so basically for every eye color but yeah, I really noticed that it made my eyes pop out and I'm using a blending brush from hair and makeup oh no they changed their name it's from makeup addiction it comes in their flawless eye kit so when I'm done with that I'm going in with makeup geek I'm peachless eyeshadow and I'm going to softly apply this eyeshadow shade in the inner corner and also softly at the beginning of my eyelid and I'm just building up the color by going back in with more and more product and if you want it to be super intense you can also make your brush wet and this will make it even more intense so now I'm going in with Colourpop Time Out eyeshadow and this is like a peachy pink shimmery shade super pretty as well the pigmentation wasn't really nice so it was kind of hard to build it up same goes for the i'm peachless eyeshadow by makeup geek so yeah i just applied a layer and another layer to make the eyeshadow pop for as far that was possible so now i'm going in with makeup geek roulette eyeshadow and this pigmentation is a lot better than the other two eyeshadows so I decided to also apply this a little bit in the middle part also on top of the timeout eyeshadow by Colourpop since it wasn't really showing so yeah I'm just going to apply this in the middle part and also towards my outer V a little bit so now I'm going back in with the blazing eyeshadow by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to apply this underneath my lower lash line and um, it's super easy to apply this since this shade is also in my crease. So if you also go a little bit more with your brush towards your outer feet, the eyeshadows in the crease will melt into the shades underneath your lower lash line, which makes everything come together. And I'm going in with Makeup Geek Roulette eyeshadow. Same shade that I used in the, in the middle part of my eyelid. And now I'm also going to apply this in the middle part underneath your lower lash line. And I'm going in with the Makeup Geek I'm Peachless eyeshadow, which I applied at the beginning for in the inner corner. And just to make it a little bit more obvious, I went back in with the shade to intensify the shade. And I'm also going to apply this a little bit more downward underneath the lower lash line. So now I'm going in with the MAC Fascinating Eye Pencil. And I'm going to apply this for in my waterline. And this is a new pencil. This is the second one I have purchased so far. And if I purchase a product, that means I really like it because I've never repurchased a eye pencil. So that means a lot, but I like it that it's more on the dry side, so it stays better in place. So now I'm going in with the Tarte Cosmetics Light Camera Lashes Mascara. This is my current favorite mascara. 
and I have to say like some days it looks better than other days it's just a matter of how my upper lashes look but I do really like this for my bottom lashes it makes them super long so yeah I just have a sort of love and hate relationship I like it for my bottom lashes but not always for my upper lashes but my upper lashes are super hard to work with so yeah I apply some uh, fake eyelashes off camera they will maybe be included in my attitude collection I'm not sure I was just trying out this style but yeah, this is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed. It's a super easy, natural makeup look, which I would wear on a daily basis. And yeah, I just hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to thumbs up. This will help me a lot for my YouTube channel. And yeah, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys!